Welcome everybody to the Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama for the 31st race of the SCRL Classic Truck Series. The 62 of Chris Kyle will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him will be the 60 of Zachary Fitzwater. Rest of the qualifying grid. We have three races left in this series and then it'll be over. I know it's sad. And for those of you that are watching this on Monday, which will then when this race will be uploaded, today is my birthday. So I hope my driver doesn't win. But so hopefully this is a good race for you all. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. My birthday wish for you all is to have a good, safe race. Trucks are rolling off. Yeah, we are using the brand new Talladega. Again, this is probably being a contradiction because this is... <coughs> Sorry. This must be a classic series, you know, like using classic stuff and all that. And yet we're using a current. So it's kind of a contradiction. There's our points leader, Kaka White Lion. Scored her fifth win this season. In the last race. I'd say she has this championship wrapped up. Well, only three races to go. Yeah. Like I said, this is the brand new Talladega. I've never, ever used this track before, so I have no clue how these trucks will handle. Probably should have started them on the back stretch, but oh well. You get to see this awesome track. This is probably what the one millionth edition of Talladega is on in our 2003, which I hate to be the bad guy, but I hate seeing new tracks updated. You know, I'd rather have brand new tracks that the community, as well as myself, wants. It's just a nitpick, you know. I just want to see this game have a lot of good tracks, not the same one million Talladega. Anyway, pace truck is in. Let's get a good camera angle. No, there we go. Pace truck is in. We are racing at Talladega for the first time in the truck series. And the only time. Chris Kyle leads him into turn one. Fitzwater dives down to get in the second. Leads him into turn number two. Fitzwater right on the back bumper of Chris Kyle, pushing him down the back stretch. Up oh, here comes the 84. No, here comes the 14, excuse me, and Nick Sowen, second in points. He's mathematically out of this championship unless White Line finishes dead last. Here comes Max Smith for a second. Our winner at North Carolina, Chris Kyle, drops down low. He will lead the first lap under green. And here comes Max Smith. And the unsponsored zero truck. Been having a all right, season. He scored the win at North Carolina. And we got some trucks trailing for some reason. Jake Ferguson. Huh. And the three is Sebastian Torres. And here comes the 51, a tight end. Uh, has he won a truck race? I have no clue. I don't have my record book beside me. Oh, here comes a 25 of Aureus, which I don't like. I don't want my driver to lead. Yes, please pass him. Thank you. And Umbreon leads that lap. 
she led that lap. Oops. Here comes the double zero of Dink Drinker. And we're catching lap traffic. No. Here comes Ted Cajun. Oh, we got a big one. And for some reason. Okay. Oh, we get more. You got FK, the 52. TJ Dent. Who was that? Six, Colin Dryberg. Luckily for us, we did not catch lap traffic. But we had a wreck, and for some reason there was no, and the HPK is stuck. Alright. I don't know why there wasn't no smoke, which was kind of weird. There's supposed to be smoke when there's wrecks, right? Huh. Anyway, the 27 of Ted Cajun is your race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. Okay, let's see what happened. Running four wide, Aureus clips the one. Tied in, hard, into the outside wall. Zero, Max Smith gets some damage. Solman gets turned by the 58. Oh, well, no, it keeps on going. But we have another wreck. Dryberg bumps the 61. 61 goes for a spin, hits Chris Kyle. DJ Harris, hard into the outside wall. And the trucks come back down across the track. The 0 2, need a HPK, nowhere to go. Not really a lot of trucks involved, which is a surprise considering it's Talladega. So, nothing much. We'll take you back to the restart now. The field is on the back stretch, about to restart this race. We got a couple drivers out. The 0 2 of Need HPK, the 6 of Colin Dryberg, and the 48 of DJ Harris. The 2 of Daryl Emma is on the inside, one lap down. And TJ Dent is. Back there, trying to catch back up to the field. Ted Cajun is your race leader. Second is Jay Persils. Third is Dean Drinker. Fourth is Jesse Turner. And fifth is Nick Persils. We got two Persils in the top five. But they've never won in this series, I believe. If you guys want to check out how, what your win stats is, go to my website. I've posted it a couple times. You can check it out. There's green flag. We're back to racing at Talladega. Of course, lap down traffic will probably be a factor. It always is. Cajun got a good start. Jay to the high side. He gets a run around Daryl Emma. And he completes the pass. Now he's trying to... No, oh, there he goes. And it seems I forgot to turn the smoke on. I did another league race for my website, and I forgot to turn the smoke all back on again. Here comes Ding Drinker. Ever since he made his return to this league, he has been on a roll. Won a bush race. Whoa. Parcels almost went across the nose of Umbry. And Dean Drinker will lead that lap. But here comes Nick Parcels. 15 truck being pushed by the 19. Parcels goes high with Umbry on. Field got split up a little bit.
Parcells continues to lead them into turn three. Into turn four. And they're three by three by three by three. Here comes Ding Drinker and the 30 of Desiree Voyez. And the 30 will lead that lap. Here comes the 60 of Zachary Fitzwater. Random lag. I don't know why it does that. Fitzwater to lead. For now, here comes the 99 of Rick Rome. Teammate of Keck White Line. He has never won a single race in his career. He's probably getting a little jealous right now. White Line has five wins. He has zero. Still leads him in turn four. Here comes second in points, Nick Soman. Whoa. And Soman will get five bonus points. And I have no clue why it's lagging. Up oh, here comes that 58 truck, Matt Dalio. Scored that controversial win at Pocono. When he wrecks Sabrina Ace for the win, got fined 100 points. Hopefully he obeys the rules today. I don't know why it's lagging still. Dale keeps it in the lead. Behind him is the 03 of Grayson Ace. Behind him is the 32 of Alex Pedro. A former winner earlier in the season. Goes to the bottom. Oh, Max Smith almost got hit. Alex Pedro continues to hold the race lead. Behind him, here comes the 18 of Brian Fox. Up behind him comes the 20 of Alex Wheeler. Making it three wide for second. Here comes the 8. Nope, here comes the 15 again. Purcells, whoa! Okay. Oh. Oh my god, this thing, they can't keep it up. Pedro will lead that lap. Look at him going. There's no way they can keep this up. Go with the spectator cam a little bit. The inside lane, of course, will get the push because it's the fastest way around. Here comes the 61 truck. Damon Fenton. Our winner. I have no clue where. New Hampshire, sorry. Let's go for a different camera angle. Let's go with camera angle two. And lead him down to the wire will be the 30 truck. There's where boy is. Yep, and here comes Dink Drinker. Constant side-by-side -side battles for the lead and for position, too. Drinker leads him down the back. Oh, here comes the three of Sebastian Torres. See, I got your name right this time. Here comes the 99. Being pushed by that 19 truck. Oh. Four and three wide. Leads him in turn three and four. Here comes the 19 again. Oh, here comes the 43. It's a three-way battle. Uh, 43 got it. For now. Oops. Here comes the 55. Damn it. Here comes the 55 of Draco. Multiple time winner in this series. I mean, league. Being pushed by Jesse Turner. They got a good jump. We got tandem racing here. They got a good gap on third. When does Turner make his move? 
Oh, he gave a peek. Turner still waiting. He can't wait too long because if a caution comes out, he'll be burned. Oh, oh, there they go. Oh, Turner waited too long. Here comes the 0 3. We should have to run. Nope. Oh, no. Turner tried to block. Waited too long. They're still racing four wide back there. We're just waiting for the wreck because you know it's going to happen. Here comes Solman. He's going to take second. Even though he's not mathematically out of this championship, he technically is, but he's still fighting. He, he takes the lead. This would help his points a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, here comes Max Smith. Looking for win number two. He's got help from... No, he didn't make it. We'll get the white flag this time by... I mean, next time by. Sorry. Damn it. Someone goes down the block. Ted Cajun. As they'll have the preferred line on the bottom. And a turn one and a turn two. Oh my god, no. Shh, fuck. Please, no. Oh, he's in four, they're in three. Oh, shh. Ted Cajun is lead him into turn three. And turn four. We're going to finish this race under green, hopefully. Jay Purcell's got to run on the low side. And there it is. White flag. One left to go. Will they make it back? Will they catch lap traffic? I hope not. Jay Purcell's into the race lead. Oh, he goes high. Here comes Rome. Oh, here comes the 84, Daniel Voyez. Oh, Jay Purcell's. He's trying to block. Ryan, he's got enough room. Yes, he does. Can you hold him off, though? Yeah. Here comes the 19. Oh, Jay goes down the block. And looks like Jay Purcells will win. Now Talladega. Oh, thank God they didn't have live traffic. Jay Purzels finally, finally gets that first career win. And what a win it was. Here's your race results. Jay Purcell scores a very close win over Umbreon. Second is Daniel Voyez. Third is Bulldog 67. Wait, fourth is Bulldog 67. Fifth is Alex Pedro. Sixth is Rick Rome. Seventh is Ted Cajun. Eighth is Brian Fox. Ninth is Ding Drinker. And tenth is Desiree Voyez. Rest of the race results. Thankfully, we did not have lap traffic get in the way, and we had a green flag finish. Tina HBK, bad day for her. Colin Dryberg, even worse. And now we'll take you to victory lane for the very first time with Jay Purcells.